Manipur, a state in northeast India bordered by Nagaland to north, Mizoram to the south and Assam to the west. It shares international borders with Myanmar to the east. The population of Manipur is approximately 3 million people. The state's capital is Imphal and it is known for its natural beauty, rich history and unique cultural traditions. But since the last few days, it has been in a major turmoil with violent clashes between different communities and the police. The situation escalated particularly after the High Court of Manipur granted scheduled tribe status to the Meitei community. The Meiteis who make up the majority of the population in Manipur are concentrated in the valley region while the hill areas are largely inhabited by different tribal groups. The hill tribes are opposed to the ST status for the Meiteis as they fear that it will lead to land grabbing and displacement of their communities. They have been fighting against government-led eviction drives for the years and the ST status for Meites is seen as a threat to their land and livelihood. While we have kind of explained this to you in very simple terms over here, the situation is quite complex and multifaceted with several factors contributing to the unrest. Recently, there have also been many disturbing reports of violence and shoot at sight orders in the state. The police have been deployed to maintain law and order and even the army, but tensions remain high as curfew has been partially relaxed now in some parts of Manipur. The violence has led to the displacement of thousands of people with official figures putting the death toll at 54. However, according to our sources, the actual number of casualties may be much higher. Some Meites have reported hearing slogans in the Myanmar language during Solidarity March and believe that illegal migrants are behind the violence. This has added another layer of complexity to the situation. Now, the Manipur government has also been criticized for its handling of the situation. Some have accused the government of failing to listen to the concerns of different communities and also of fueling more tension through its policies. In addition to the ST status issue, there are also other factors contributing to the unrest in Manipur. For example, there are long-standing demands for the repeal of the Armed Forces, the Special Powers Act, which gives the military sweeping powers in conflict zones. They can do whatever they want, no questions asked. This act has been criticized by human rights organization for years for its alleged misuse by security forces, but with so many protests against it, the act has pretty much now been done away with. The situation in Manipur is reflective of the larger issues facing the northeast region of India. The area is incredibly diverse, with over 220 languages and dialects spoken across the region. The states are interconnected through motorways and problems in one state can quickly spill over into the neighboring states as well. The government of course has taken some measures to address these situations such as imposing a curfew and deploying additional security forces. However, many people in Manipur feel that these measures are inadequate and that more needs to be done to address the root causes of these conflicts. And while all of this is going on, the neighboring state governments are also doing their bit to save their own people. Like the Meghalaya government has evacuated stranded students in Manipur. The Nagaland government has sent 17 buses along with security forces from Kohima to bring back Naga students from violence hit Manipur. The Assam government has directed one of its deputy commissioners to provide shelter to people coming from Manipur. As many as 1100 people have taken refuge in different centers in Assam. Now it is crucial for all parties involved to come to the negotiating table and find a peaceful and a fair solution that is consistent and stays for long that addresses the concerns of all these communities involved. The government must also take proactive steps to address the root causes of the conflict and work towards a sustainable resolution. If you or someone you know is affected by the ongoing violence in Manipur and displacement, please reach out to the following official numbers for assistance as you see on your screens. There's Manipur Police, you can reach out to 100 of course. The Women's Helpline is 181, Child Helpline is 1098 and of course there are these numbers of Nagaland Police Control Room that you can reach out to. There's also Meghalaya Police Control Room numbers that we've given you. All of it is also there in the description. But tell us, what are your thoughts about all the disturbing news, especially if you are from the affected area or from any northeastern state? Also, let us know if you're safe and if there is any ground reality that we are not aware of and that we must know. Well, you can let us know all of this in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe if you find this video worth it. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.